So Varun, you have a fascinating business that's about providing AI tutoring for children. So tell us how that works. Um, imagine you join a Zoom call and the uh, other person on the call is all AI. It looks and feels like a real human, but it's all AI generated. And since it's all software, we can use different teaching strategies to teach people. And you've only been doing this for less than a year. So what sort of surprises have you had as, as kids have started using the software? So yeah, engaging kids is a big challenge. Imagine working with first graders and stuff. So you can come across all kinds of weird scenarios. You know, they might be suddenly singing or just talking to their parents and so on. So keeping them engaged, understanding what is happening in the room and making sure that the teacher is able to teach them has been a challenge. Mm. So what's the workflow for the parent? They go to the website and they buy a course and then they, they have a laptop for their child. How, how does it, how does it uh, go step by step? Just like imagine you buy a course on Coursera or mm. Udemy, it's, it's the same process. They buy a particular course and they just launch the course and then the teacher pops up just like you would uh, you know, join a Zoom call mm. and then the teacher will just run the entire course from there. Hmm. So it sounds like AI tools have really been very fundamental to your business. So what sort of tooling are you using? We have been using AI in, uh, through the entire stack. Hmm. For the brain, we have been relying on all the LLMs. Uh, for speech, we have been using a bunch of speech models. And for the face generation, we built our own video model. Hmm. Are you finding that AI is moving so fast that it's changing the direction of what you're building? Or are, you, are you predicting where it's going and building that into your roadmap? Uh, we're just trying to make sure we're running with AI and then you know wherever it takes us, yeah. we'll just go with the flow. Yeah. So what sort of feedback are you getting from parents and from the kids who are taking part in these, in these lessons? Um, we've been learning a lot of things. Uh, kids, they, uh, they like to do things their own way. So we have been trying to understand what is it that uh, they like. Mm. There's a bunch of kids who like penguins. So if you try to teach them with penguins, they really like to stay engaged in that course. And some kids like soccer. So if you're teaching math with soccer combined, they would like to engage with that course. But Interesting. Are the courses individualized to each child as a result, or are they the, the same for each audience? Uh, it's individualized for mm. each child. So it's literally talking to a teacher on a Zoom call. Yeah. So, yeah. So, from a development point of view, though, what, what's the most difficult thing that you've dealt with in, in starting this business and growing it? The video model, you know, refining the video model, making sure it's performant enough where mm. people can afford to have a, a course being run with a face to face interaction. Mm. That was a big challenge in the earlier days. Once we refined that, rest of the pieces were fell into place. And is this right now English only, or are you looking at other languages? Right now, it's English only. We have one uh, course on Spanish, which we are playing around. Uh, however, the voice models, they support 23 or more languages. So what does your roadmap look like for the next 12 months? Where do you think it might be going as you evolve this? Um, so right now we've been getting uh, decent feedback at elementary uh, grade courses. So looking at higher uh, career courses, so we're working on some AI courses and so on. How do you use Stripe in all of this? Every course comes with a price. It's, uh, so you buy that particular course, pay for it, and check out. Mm. Uh, and then that course is available to you. Did you build the payment integration towards the end of the product, or did, were you always factoring in a payment solution as you were building it? Uh, we built it in the end. It literally happened in a day. So, oh, really? so, yeah. so what was the integration like? Did you find it fairly straightforward or did you have any issues? Uh, no, it was fairly straightforward. Standard flow for us, you know, buying a specific product and checking out from there. So it was fairly straightforward for us. Yeah, amazing. Well, it's been incredible hearing about this because I think it's such a great mission in what you're doing. So thanks so much for coming to the Build Day today. And if you want to try using Expressive AI at home, just go to expressive.ai. But thanks very much for coming, and we'll see you again in the next Build Day. Thank you so much for the chat.